Welcome to Bahamian TV. I'm Siobhan Turnquest here in Rollville Exoma with Mr. Anvil Roll, performance artist in the Bahamas. Can you tell us how it came, the idea for this family to be made? Well, let's start off with Guy Fox. You know, the, the people for the sale in Rollville had a Guy Fox competition. And, uh, you know, Everybody, they build a guy for so I say I can build one too. But, you know, for weeks they were preparing theirs. It came to the last day. I didn't start with mine yet. And they say, Animal, you say you can build yours, what happened? I said, I, I'm, yes, I'm going to build one. You see what time it is? I said, that's all right. When that time comes, I said, okay, now I'll go build mine. I said, but mine's going to be different from yours. What do you mean it's gonna be different? I say man's gonna be sitting down. You know, you think I'm talking craziness, you know? But within half an hour to 45 minutes, Lazarus was completed. You started with Lazarus. How did the rest of the family come to be? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Start with plan A. Never was for Lazarus to get burned, you know. That was my plan. Never. You know, I ever had intentions to go on. That was my dream. But they didn't see it. Only me could see that right then. You know what I mean? So that was plan A, plan B, you know, and, 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 and it's going and, and there's still more to go. Could you remember the year Lazarus was born? Mm -hmm. Not quite. Tell you the truth. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like Lazarus just created yesterday. Oh, wow. You know, they bring back so much memories and joy to me, to a lot of people also. Did his wife come years later or months later? Uh, his wife came about two years later because, you know, uh, uh, she was away. You understand? Right. She was away, feeling bad. She, she was in the hospital and, and, you know, she had to wait to get better. I understand that you take Lazarus and his family places with you. Oh, yes, man. Lazarus is a frequent traveler. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, on the mail boat, uh, the captains know him, man. I had him to, to Andros, to the Andros Regatta. Man, oh, man, everybody fall in love with him. The Long Island. Wow. I had him to the, you know, he, he, he usually go to the straw market. You ride in the jitney with me. You know, a uh, couple places I carry him, man. You wouldn't believe it. People, you know, they see Bahamian people do respect elderly. I see that. Because wherever I carry him, and if I, and if I leave him by himself, let's say, for instance, I came to the bus stop and it started to rain, and he's sitting down on the bus stop, and, and, and I'm getting out of the rain and leaving him. Bus drivers or people in the bus, they stop and the driver say, hey, sit, pick up the old man, see the old man in the rain? You know? Yeah, man, he, he travel, he's a frequent traveler. If somebody offer him a drink, he won't say no. But, he, but he's not going to ask anybody for nothing either. Lodgers may be outside, or let's just out there here, right? I, have, I may have my, my, my little glass of wine or whatever, right? Right. And, and I see Lodgers sometimes, you know, sometimes it, it seems like he's shaking, but he try to tell me something. Right, where am I? You see, where and, and a lot of times people tell me, say, boy, animal, you better watch out. One of these times, I'm just really can talk to you and you can wake up running, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you think I'm asleep, they go whisper. They, they talk, they talk about amongst themselves. Why? That's not right. That's I, not I, right. I have to fix that. You have to fix that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fix that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. Did you give him the name Lazarus? Well, Lazarus got that name, okay, after Guy Fawkes night. Well, I, I, I built him, and, and I went straight to Georgetown, gets to the sea link. The boat was leaving that same evening on Guy Fawkes night, right? But on my arrival back from Nassau, you know, because they burned all the others. They didn't burn him. 
So Chester McKenzie was the was in charge of, of the cabana and he and he, he had him put away. He said, My animal it I uh, your thing down there, you know. I said I ain't ready for him yet. And when I was ready for him, I went to Chester, I said, Okay, I ready for him now. So he he, he went down there, he, he took the key, he opened the door, and he was going to get him. So I said, Hold on, don't get him yet. So I say, Lazarus, come forth. So I said, go get him now, Chester. Chester said, not me. You better go get that yourself. You know what I mean? Well, he, that's where he got his name from. Then I said, Lazarus, come forth. And, and, and he been going ever since. I understand that Lazarus has many stories. <laughs> wow, where should I start? You know the police pull gun on him? Oh, no. Yeah, I had him, I had him to my house, you know. You know, because I usually put him in different positions, you know. But I had him in my house corner on his knees, you know, like he's sneaking for real. And around 2.30 this morning, you know, I'm watching TV, and I heard the car slow down in front of the gate and stop. So I turned the TV off, leave those in darkness, and I peeped through the, the curtain. And I, and I look, it was a police car. I peeped through. He came up with a gun. Don't move! All around here doing a bunch of foolishness around here doing great. And then the lady police come up with the search like, yeah, they doing a bunch of fool around here, you know? So I like they're peeping too, you know? So police come and say, get up! Loud just right there, he ain't moving, boy. He, he, you know, he's disobedient when come to that. He, so I say, get up! He ain't moved, lady. Shining like police touch him and jump back, you know? Touch him a couple of times. I said, man, this ain't real. You know, and man, and these, they started to carry on. Did you ever come out? No, man, they knock on the door. I... <laughs> but then the next day, the next evening they saw me, they said, wow. I feel this person knocked me on the shoulder. I, I look around, there's a police in the uniform. So I said, officer, well, what do I do now? He said, you need to stop your foolishness, you know. I said, what? He said, man, we almost shoot up your house. He told her man tried to break open the place, man. I thought somebody tried to break open the place. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. Like I said, I usually came to the bar with me. But he, he, he sit down amongst each and every human being. It doesn't matter. You can't tell. Unless you really know who he is. You know? Uh, Cedric and I, at the bar, the bartender behind her, Lad was sitting among the crew. But the position that he was sitting in, like he was facing us who sitting in the bar. This fellas on playing domino and whatever. But every time Cedric looked on the side, his eye goes and see, seeing Lajos keep looking at him, right? So he say, he talk easy because he don't want Lajos to hear him. He say, I don't know who the man is in the back there. I play the guy, hear him, you know? Because I know. We talk, we drink. Boy, it's animal. The man is in the bar to keep looking at me and saying nothing more. So I said, you must be doing something. He said, no, me ain't doing nobody nothing. I swear to God, I ain't doing nobody nothing. I said, you must do the man something. Boy, he ordered another drink from Freddy. Oh, he look, Lardis, look again. He going to Lardis. What you look at me for? I ain't doing nothing. You look at me and say nothing. I ain't doing nothing, man. <laughs> so Pope and the rest of those guys, oh, the rest of the guys say, say, hold on, Cedric, can you read? What you mean, man? He looking at me and say nothing. I ain't doing nothing, you know? Man, that, that, that was man, that, that was something. Every time I think about that, I just have to laugh, man. I understand that Lazarus sometimes whispers to Beatrice. Well, un, un, until I really hear perfectly well one night. I've been hearing these things, but I mean, as far as I know, it was only me one in the house, you know. But this particular time, I had I didn't had the television turned too too loud. You know, boy, and, and I hear these people, you know, talking, you know. So I say, you know, it ain't the TV. I don't have the radio on. So I turn the TV down. I hear them, right? So because I had them in the other room, you see? So I went around and opened the door quick. And then everything gone quiet. So I say, man, I say, what you, what you all talking about in the back here? You know what I mean? 
ain't saying nothing. See, the, see so I say, I say, Lord, you know, are you ever blaming him? Mm -hmm. You see, he believe he's sharp. Right. Yeah, he believe he's sharp, you see? I say, man, Lord, you need to stop the foolishness, you know? You know? Yeah, you know, I, I, I used to hear it, but that particular time, they thought they had me. They thought I was asleep, I guess. Right. You sleep outside sometimes, just chilling out, you know, late. You know, we, you know, we stay out. But this particular, this particular morning, I opened the door. I mean, I really could have seen some, some, some sun prints, you know. I know the position I leave him in. But I come back, I look, I see sun all over his face, you know. So I say, Lord, this is where you been? You know, you, you think he answered? He ain't say nothing to me, man. I tell you, believe you sharp. You know, he probably been on the beach because I, I only went three minutes away from the beach, you know. Right, so he went to get his foot wet. Yeah, he probably just went, you know. <laughs> 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 you see what you're saying? And another thing I usually do with Lazarus, I, uh, when, I, when I take him, I just sit him, sit him down someplace like the Baratari homecoming. I just sit him there. And I walk away, go do what I have to do. And, you know, in minutes, usually start with kids. You know, the kids walking around him and touching him and try to figure out, you know, if he real and all that. And a lot of times they see even big grown people just hailing him, you know, you know, how you doing, sir, and whatever. Serious thing. You know, when music play, the girls would sit on his lap and they dancing with him and you oh, know. Man. And these are sometimes these are the girls I want to dance with and they say, no man. Like he's it, stealing everything from you. Yeah, that, that's the style, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Serious thing. This is Lazarus. This is the the founder of the family. You know, and he's a very good friend of mine. He he inspired me. And trust me, he, he keeps me going. At first. When I started out with Lazarus, a lot of people started, they called me crazy, you know. They say, he building Guy Fox. And I started his family, and he's eating Guy Fox season. I said, no, man, this ain't Guy Fox. You burn Guy Fox. You don't burn these kind of things, man. You know, he got feelings. When I build him, I use a tape measure from, from my shoulder, right to down. From my spine, right it down, my leg, you know, and, and, you know, write everything down. Then I just cut my wood and I put my pieces together. You know, the arms and thing, I build them with a, you know, angle so that they hand, see, his hand can move, you know, he, he can do whatever he do, you know. He can stand up, he sit down, he can open his leg, he can do whatever he do, you know. Yeah, the pipe is, is corn stock and the head is coconut. All the hair is made of coconut. What about the and eyes? And the eyes, the eyes is marble. And who's this little fella here? Yeah, uh, that's Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. That's me. He used to be a road boy one time ago. No road boy. But then, you know, yeah, he, he, he's sort of disciplined now. Uh, you know, he, he's cool. You know, uh, when I had him up to the musical fest in Georgetown, you know, the, the, the little school girls, you know, they, you know, say, I don't like him. I say, why? Why you don't like him? He said, because he look rude. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, he, he, you know, he, he, he usually, you know, he, you know, that's how he usually carry on. Other than that, he's cool. He's very attentive today. Oh, yes, I see that. I shouldn't be asking who this is. No. This, this is uh, Lazarus' wife, Beatrice. Beatrice, we've heard a lot of stories about you. Yes, and, and this is Janae. Hi, Janae. You, you can see she, she looks sick. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, this is the junglist daughter. Okay. The junglist, that's the oldest daughter. And, and you know, the junglist, she is, a, you know, I tell you, she is a fast going lady. Okay. And yeah, that's why the baby come out looking like that. Okay. But hopefully, you know, the next one, the next baby, I hope the next baby have a better features at least. You know, <laughs> sorry to say it like that, but <laughs> yeah, you want to pull us in a song? You know, oh, everybody yeah, pretty and smiling, yeah, and I ugly and crying. Yes, yes, you know? yeah, on behalf of Lazarus and his family, my boy Todd, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Shabonya Turnquest, Bohemian TV. See you. Mm -hmm.